Hello. This disclosure, experience, awareness and educational video is dedicated to the whole of humanity because it affects each and every one of us on some level of reality no matter where we are on the evolutionary spiritual journey. Some of you may resonate with this on this level of reality more than others and some may not. To all I would say go with what resonates and leave what does not because there's a lot to take in. Okay, where to begin? Many of you will find what I'm about to tell you difficult to believe, but every word of it is true, and it's about what I experienced and learned from my own journey through life. This journey of experience affected me so profoundly and so intensely that at times I found it hard to believe myself. I've always been a truth seeker and was psychic from a very early age and I had my first taste of enlightenment at the age of 15 when I experienced a profound sense of oneness, unity and wholeness with the universe and I experienced an all-knowing oneness with everything around me and this lasted a couple of moments in time and then it was all lost to me. It was as if the universe was showing me who I really was. Indeed, I learnt much later who we all truly are, pure consciousness, the body just being a shell in the third dimensional reality of illusion. I had a difficult childhood where I found it difficult to truly be myself for fear of ridicule. But realised later, I, it was only my true self that I was running away from while trying to fit in. Much of my life I began reading books on spirituality and later on I, dis, I did some healing courses and crystals and Reiki. It was while I was on my spiritual journey and helping someone else who had been t attacked by very dark forces um, by somebody else who had been using black magic upon the person. Uh, she called for my help as, she, well, she felt she had nobody else to turn to at the time. And it was at this point in time that I came myself across a very dark and dense force that I and I barely escaped with my life. I nearly lost it several times over. I was attacked on every level imaginable. It was absolutely horrendous. My family helped as best they could, but I could not reveal the extent of my experiences to them. It wasn't until much later, after continuous bombardment, and mind manipulation, as I later learnt, that I started going to healers who themselves did not quite understand what I was going through. I also ex realised that some of my family were also going through stuff too. So while I was trying to protect them, which was a bit like juggling plates with weights on, I had also to try and protect myself as well. What I learned much later on was that this attack was involved involved a fierce group of reptilians and greys whose origins lay in the fourth dimension. So I was trying to fight an invisible enemy who was sent by an even stronger dark force in the universe who I shall not name but I'm sure you're all aware of because the attack was so fierce uh, that I, it's 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 absolutely indescribable. I was well aware of what was going on, uh, even though I didn't understand it totally at the time. 
and they threw everything at me and I do mean everything. I felt like I was in, was in an invisible war zone and I had to be on my guard 24-7. It wasn't so much later after coping by myself as best I could and learning as much as I could from the experiences that some of the jigsaw puzzle began to click into place. If you've ever seen the films The Matrix, The Green Lantern, Super 8 and The Mancurian Candidate with Denzel Washington you'll get some idea of what I'm really talking about here. My crime? Well, I'm a truth seeker and I, and I must have stood up or popped my head too far outside the box. That was my only crime. I was fighting a war on a level of thoughts, reality, deception, frequency manipulation and time dimensional matrix patterns that I knew nothing about until much later on. The dark forces that attacked me in the beginning had actually communicated to me that they were going to take over the whole planet and this sector of the universe and they meant it. So now you understand the dimensions of um, levels that we're talking about here. This was not an ordinary attack. This was uh, this this was horrendous, and these forces were so powerful that they almost almost took me over. And if you're having to be on guard 24-7, day and night, especially at night time, without sleep, sleep deprivation, uh, and all sorts going on that you can't control, it wasn't easy, that I can tell you. If you research philosophicalanthropology.blogspot.com, read the Andamedians and also look at Montark, M-A-U-N-T-A-L-K dot com, Kerner, K-E-R-N-E-R dot -E -E com, on the Grey's Agenda and also look at Phil Schneider, Schneider spelt S-C-H-N-I-E-D-E-R. If you look at his video, he has the new technology and uh, information on the UFOs and the aliens. You'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about. The service to self, the manipulating service to self alien races can manipulate thought patterns so that they can feed off them. It's like food for them. They were manipulating to some degree not only, not only the fourth dimension but the third dimensional matrix too. But the fourth dimension was manipulated and controlled from behind the scenes. Remember, everything in the universe works on frequencies and vibration. So if they can manipulate your thoughts or emotions in a negative way they will use it to feed on. That's what the Buddha meant when he said, be mindful. And I also read somewhere that thoughts are things. So negative greys being the emotional thought police working for the, the reptilian Draco forces or the service to self aliens. If you read the law of one, Books 1 to 4 by Elkins, Rukart and McCarty. Elkins is spelt E L K I N S, Rukart R U E C K E R T, McCarty M small c, large c, A R T, Whitford Press. Uh, they it discusses the channeling, the channeler discusses the service to self aliens. 
During this time I was also aware of a high presence of UFOs and I would often track them with my binoculars but it was it was after I discovered and read about the Organite and the Don Croft and Carol Croft adventures which I'll give you more websites at the end of this um, DVD that everything began to click into place. See, during this time I'd sent an email out to another major organiser about how I'd love to organise the whole of Britain. Well, what happened next was like something out of a movie. Suddenly, a high concentration of police started patrolling my area. They said they were looking for stolen, um, stolen car plates, um, but I knew there was something else going on um, because I was actually started uh, to be followed. They followed my car, my computer kept coming on back online even when I'd switched it off and this an, a, another friend of mine also witnessed this which he thought was very strange and while dropping a friend home a very large black helicopter appeared over my place hovering low in the sky as if threatening almost it also appeared at the other end of my journey as I was dropping my friend home just like in the Don and Carol Croft adventures. But the thing is, I thought they were exaggerating. I didn't realise that what they were talking about was actually true. I remember reading it and laughing a, bit, a little bit and thinking, oh, well, just a bit of over-exaggeration. But Carol, Don Croft's wife, is actually very psychic like myself. And she can pick these things up. So, you know not to be laughed at here. Um, some pretty, other pretty weird stuff started happening as well. The psychic attacks increased massively. Helicopters, police, army and black helicopters would be circling my place or tracking my car whenever I went out anywhere. And I didn't realise it at the time, but sometimes UFOs would be following me as well. The helicopters would emit a strange frequency that would make my head swirl and I had a number of near accidents at that time as well. Strange things started happening to some of my friends and my family too. They also felt like they were being monitored and watched and tracked. Some of them also experienced some weird psychic attacks or police following them. During this time, my phone was also being tapped. And one night I experienced something with a UFO, with a green, green and red lights. That alerted me to what was really happening. And I was able to piece together some of the remaining jigsaw puzzle. The final clue as to how they, were, they knew where I always was and the continual moni monitoring process that I and others had experienced in the organite community came when I read an article on implants on Don and Carol Croft's website on organite as they had experienced this many, many times and their friends too. I became aware and paralysed for a while when I realised amongst my other strange encounters and experiences that I had been implanted too. In fact I'd been implanted from the very beginning and I had this later verified by a qualified healer therapist in the USA who specifically dealt with these kinds of cases because it happened to her as well and she's a, a, a qualified top, top healer now, I suddenly realised that's how they were able to monitor people in the third dimension, especially those who pose the threat of some kind to their illusionary matrix. The implants explained some of the strange marks 
that appeared on my body with scratches and bruising when I woke up in the, in the morning and the feeling like I'd been dragged through a hedge backwards. I couldn't believe it. It was not only like the Matrix, it was part of a very, very well planned and orchest orchestrated Matrix that not, not only worked on the third dimension of reality, but it also worked in tandem with the fourth dimension. It was like something out of a book or a movie. I could hardly believe it myself. If organite, and then I thought to myself, well, hang on a minute. This increased when I ordered, when I when I um, when I sent the email to say that I was going to organite the whole of Britain. So I thought, if if organite was such a big threat to them, then it meant that it worked because this was actually scrambling their own frequencies that way they were creating to pe keep people monitored, checked and in the third dimension. I quickly... I quickly ordered a large order for my friends and family and while it didn't totally eliminate the threat, straight away, they were still trying things with us. It did help greatly to reduce the psychic attacks and the police following me, especially when I placed it in my car. Wow, what a difference that made, I can tell you. And you can feel the energies off them. You only have to hold them. They're very powerful tools. And now I know what Don and Carol Croft went through. Um, although I did go through this um, on, a, on a different level to them, I suppose, because mine involved the old, you know, black magic. And I feel that it came from a very, very high level. But it, it's just the way it was, uh, the level of, attacks if you like it was the level that it came from very very high up in the dark side and so now reality had hit me and the truth shall set you free as David Icke says that was when the world of illusion had suddenly opened up to me right in front of my very eyes I suddenly realised it was there all along I just hadn't seen it because I was so engrossed in it. And now I experienced both streams. Ex now I felt like I'd experienced both extremes of reality on all levels from the very highest state of oneness to the lowest state of despair in all one lifetime. I cried to the heavens, why me, why me? And the answer came, very few could deal with the levels you've dealt with and still survive to tell the world. In one way, I felt honoured and blessed, but I'm still healing the scars. And I know that if this helps but a few people, my suffering will not have been in vain. So, what did I learn? Well, the world is an illusion, my friends as all the great masters have told us. And everything, and I do mean everything, I realised has been contrived and controlled and manipulated by the masters of deception. They've been doing it all along, right under our very noses. It's a bit like when you put keys down, car keys, and you put them down in front of you and they're on the table and then you're looking everywhere else but right under your nose. The Illuminati know that. They know how our minds work and they know that if they put things under our noses we're less likely to see them. They become almost invisible, less obvious, you know. It's like toying with our minds a little bit. 
you know, you've got to be clever here because they're very, very clever people behind here. They, these, they know what they're doing. The banks with their, and the banks play a very, very big part in this. Have no, you know, have no doubts about this. The banks are behind a lot of the wars. Uh, they play war games and it's played and manipulated by the top Zionist bankers, the Illuminati, the top levels of the Illuminati. And the order is to divide and rule and control and make us all debt slaves. Or the pharmaceutical industries using their viral drugs and injections to make us weaker so we are easy to control and manipulate. The fluoride in the water to dumb us all down. You probably read some of this already yourselves. The secret military police. The problem reaction solution scenarios to secretly introduce their further control agendas and make us all acquiesce to their plans for further control. Now, don't get me wrong, I do believe in God, but I don't believe in religion which is another control mechanism to keep us all in check. It really is one great big illusion. It's... <laughs> I suddenly realised... Back in the day I read George Orwell. Well, this, is, was, this was George Orwell. This was a Orwellian state. This was George Orwell. This is what he was talking about. It was Alice in Wonderland going down the rabbit hole, experiencing different levels of reality and the confusion of it all. It was Wizard of Oz manipulating behind the curtains, the bankers. It was the Matrix, all of them all taken to another level. And the top levels of the Illuminati with their secret black ops projects, financed through the banks and controlled by the secret government or the shadow government, which are the Illuminati masters of control and mass deception, who took all the secret knowledge from the tribal peoples of the earth and used it for their dark, deceptive practices. Now, the tribal peoples used it to heal Mother Earth, they used it, they used it to connect with nature, and they used it for their own healing practices, for their own communities. Whereas the Illuminati took that knowledge and used it for their own purposes of deception and control and manipulation of the population. And the banks, now let me tell you, the big banks, the Rothschilds and the, the, the top bankers are the top Illuminati members and they are funders and manipulators and they are the dark masters of deception. And they, they use this dark magic to invite and allow the predatory fourth dimensional entities to come in and further manipulate and control anyone who is seen as a threat to their hidden agenda. They allowed it possibly because they themselves are in fear of them and in fear of us waking up to their secret manipulations and anyone who steps who's stepping outside the box well i must have really truly stepped outside the box and i'd do it again gladly to save humanity from itself whose fault is it well actually it's our fault it's our fault because we allowed it to happen right under our noses. Okay, we weren't aware of it, but now we're starting to wake up. 
and the bankers are just a small part of this. There's also the fourth dimensional um, aspect to it that people are waking up to. And um, believe me, it's quite awesome. It really is. Well, as I said, it's our fault. And it's time for us to wake up as humanity. It's humanity's time to awaken from the dream because that's what the third dimensional and, the, and part of the fourth dimensional reality system is. It's a dream, it's an illusion. It's not real, it's not real. It's time to stop acquiescing to the reality we don't want and to create the one we do want. And the time is now, more than ever, the time is now. Even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, and you can look at David Icke's video, um, if you look at uh, if you look at David Icke's video, you'll see that it is truly time to wake up. Wake up in humanity to what's really going on in your world. You can change it. We created it. We can change it. We have the power. This is not science fiction. It's science fact. The top levels of the Illuminati already know this information and have the esoteric tech, fourth dimensional technology but choose to use it for manipulation and control while furthering their own service to self agendas. Just take a look at the top banks and how they're operating to see the manipulation. As for the films and the film industry and how it operates, if they're showing us more and more science fiction movies, especially about new technologies, it's because it already exists. The black ops surveillance used by some police Black helicopters. There's black. That's those are black uh, surveillance um, used by police and army, and especially black helicopters that use electronic and radionic equipment to target certain people deemed as a threat in some way. I know, I was one of them, and it took me a while to work it all out because it was so mind blowing that even I had trouble believing it. But it's all true, believe me. It's all about frequency manipulation. And the top Illuminati know about that. They've been using it. And even, I would say, showing it to us right under our noses. Um, where it... Sorry, as I was saying, they've been using it right under our noses to show us the obvious, but we just didn't see it. It was too close and it was too obvious, if you like. How better to hide something to make it obvious? It's all about frequency manipulation and manipulating yours. And they use it in cell, tire, cell towers, the cell phone uh, towers, the pylons, some alarm systems, especially police sirens, ambulances, and some other emergency vehicles, televisions. They are masters of frequency manipulation because it all helps to control people and scramble their spiritual frequencies so they don't wake up from the third dimensional matrix illusion. So come on, it's time to wake up. All of us have a chance to change things. It's time to wake up. You can start by raising your vibration any way you choose. You can do this through yoga, meditation, crystals, organite and tachyon organite devices. 
and music also helps, especially the solfigio frequencies. You'll fly, find plenty to download on the internet, by the way. A good website to look at for dimensions and frequencies is if you Google videos and type in Spirit Science and just click on download any of the videos. And you can also look up www.resonance. Uh, sorry, resonance project. Dot org. Uh, this is by Nassim Harameen and I'll give you uh, other websites to look, look up later. I must add here that the tools that I'm about to give you and, or show you are excellent but one thing we must remember the greatest and the most powerful tool you have ava available to you is your own mind. Think for yourselves or someone else will do it for you. Think positive and be positive and wake up and start living the life you were meant to live. Raise your consciousness, own your own consciousness and be mindful. Uh, if you look at David Icke's video, Freedom to Fascism, uh, The Time to Choose, you'll find a lot of truth in there as well. I know you don't, all of you don't uh, agree with David Icke, um, but he has some very useful and knowledgeable information, and it is true. Um, I mean, you might not agree with some of the some of the some of the information, but I'd say it, you know at least eighty to ninety percent of it is true. The esoteric agenda video, which I think you can download off the internet, um, and that's called the esoteric. If you t if you Google in the esoteric agenda video. You can download all of that off the internet. I think it's about two hours long. And there's also one called the Venus Project, but I'll give you the website for that one later. And remember, the third and some of the fourth dimensional re reality is part of the illusionary matrix. So remember to moni monitor your thoughts and your thought patterns. And as Buddha says, be mindful. Thoughts are things. So if you have a ne negative thought and it pops into your head and you feel it came from outside yourself, or if you feel cloudy and doubtful and unsure of yourself, ask for Archangel Michael to banish, cancel and transmute all negative thoughts, thought forms, thought form vibrations, energies and entities from your environment on, on all dimensions and interdimensional levels of your being and that of your family and friends while you're at it. And remember to always be mindful as these beings use any weaknesses you may have against you, whether it's your fear, low self-esteem, low self-worth, anger, any illnesses you may have. I think there's a helicopter now, must have heard me. Any illnesses you may have, or any emotional issues that you may not have looked at. So please continue working on yourself and give yourself lots of healing and comfort. It's not always easy when you're feeling low, so just be kind to yourself and have lots of pamper days. And remember to take plenty of vitamins and minerals, natural if you can afford them, to keep your energy levels up as it can sometimes drain your energy. And eat plenty of vegetables three to four times a week, if you can. Watch out for those subconscious commands as well that tell you, register as voices in your head telling you you can't do this or you will never do that. Say to yourself, I can do this and I will do this if it's right for you and push yourself past those deceptions you are a free human being you can do anything you put your mind to no matter what they throw at you look at um, 
Also look at website www.montark m o n t a l k dot net for info on the fourth dimensional matrix agenda. And for those who suspect they've been implanted, look out for aches and pains in your body, especially sharp burning pains in the arms, especially at the top of the shoulders, the feet, the back of the legs, weird humming noises in the ears which lets you know they're tuning in, and feeling hot then cold and pains around the heart. It's always useful to check as I understand that a large percentage of us have been implanted by third or fourth dimensional technology over a very, very long period of time. Now remember, the Dark Cabal have been in control for millennia. Now, I'd just like to add something here. Um, the, the humming noises that you may hear can be low level humming noises. Now they work on a lower level frequency, but the, the certain humming noises that are very, very high pitched, now they are from the higher frequencies. So if you hear like a or higher up, then you can you know that that's from a higher level frequency. If you hear the, the lower humming noises, um, those, those can be from the um, uh, lower dimensional frequencies. So just watch out. There are devices that you can actually um, buy to test that. There's the, I think it's called the Rifid. Um, if you type in R-I-F-D, um, it's a device that detects... Uh, frequencies and tells you where they're coming from so that might be useful it's in infrared but it also it, it detects radio frequencies is, which is what they use to scramble people's frequencies so you might be interested in to, to buy one of those and in order to get help with healing the traumas for this if you go to beyond within dot h TM. That's beyond within HTM, um, and also Joanna Neff is another healer that deals and removes implants and does soul clearance work. Uh, Joanna spelt J O A N N A. Neff is spelt N E N F. There's also Michael and Michelle Reif. That's R. I F E and they also do implant removal healing work. Now and I understand this is um quite a problem in India. I don't know why, but I did read about it. People are having a lot of problems in India. So this may be very relevant for you. Um I'll also show you some other devices that are quite uh, good for as um, disabling implants. A very good web, another very good website website is energyhealingascension.htm and for those having difficulty believing in what I'm saying, remember the illusion is so cleverly disguised it, and it's because it's easy to hide something when it's right under your nose. The black ops, who are paid and funded by the top Illuminati banksters, I'll call them banksters because they are banksters actually, have very sophisticated fourth dimensional technology which they use to manipulate and control the population. They, and they received it from the greys, who are master manipulators of exotic technology. I should point out as well as well as the service to self aliens who feed on all forms of negativity, they are also the service to all aliens who work for the light. 
so be discerning. I know this is not easy to take in, but you'll understand what I'm saying in time. I suppose really I'm lucky to be alive to tell the tale. I think they were surprised by my ability to survive and to dodge their plans. I became very aware of what was happening around me, and I could tell if I was being monitored or watched and use the organite and ask for the Archangel Michael for protection. Since putting a few pieces in my car, I've had much less attention from the police. These things really do work, and I'm going to show you some samples in a while. So we'll just, I'll just continue with this, and then I'll, you can have a look at the workshop side of this. The good news for all humanity, and all those still suffering at the hands of the manipulated perpetrators, is that the Andromedians, which are the service to all aliens, are helping us clear up the Earth plane now, and they've already worked on and won the war on the fourth dimension, which is only won a couple of weeks ago. So, <laughs> you know, they're still working on the third dimensional matrix. And believe me, there are still some hidden about in, in places down here. And although they're still the ones, um, although there are still some hiding out in underground bases, and there's a lot of underground bases to clear, uh, that need to be cleared. Also, with the coming changes, with the earth changes and the raising of the vibration, there may be a few skirmishes with the old order as it desperately tries to cling to power. Now, you're seeing all this with the demonstrations against the banks and the um, pushback from police, who some of themselves have been implanted so and mind manipulated so remember that they are people and um, we need to take that into account as well and also not all of them are illuminati uh, it's remember it's always the top layers of society that are the illuminatis the the the, the um not all of them because a lot are coming out now and changing sides because, I th well, I think basically they know the game is lost so or the war has been won, whatever, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, so just remember that. Treat people as people. Um, and I think more people, more and more people will be waking up and as the demonstrations go on against the banks and all other forms of criminal injustices and deceptions that there's there's a lot to come out yet there's a lot of disclosure to come out yet that might be a bit frightening and shock quite a few people but believe me once you get over the shock you really do wake up because then you know, you know, it's an inner knowing, you know already what's happening, you know in yourself, and it makes so much sense of all those anomalies you've questioned, you've questioned about, and you've said, mm, well, I think that's a bit odd, but it doesn't make sense, but shove it to the back of my mind, I'll think about it later, it will all click into place. I've always said life's a jigsaw puzzle, and some of us have more of the picture. So our perceptions are slightly different. I mean, if you've got two pieces of the jigsaw puzzle, puzzle you're going to, your perception will be of those two pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. If you've got uh, half of the jigsaw puzzle, that will be your perception on reality. But if you've got the whole piece of the picture, then that again will be that that'll change your perception again so start putting the jigsaw puzzle together and wake up because this is a very 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 important time and the illuminati know that they know that and they're frightened of people waking up remember the old order is crumbling and will soon be gone to make way for a new and fairer world ruled by love peace justice and freedom Remember to use your organite when going on demonstrations 
Now this is this is quite important actually. The organite is very very good for neutralizing negative predator energy given off by the old world order police and all forms of control establishments. So, as Bob Marley says, now now you've seen the light, stand up for your right. As you become more conscious and aware of how the illusion works, you'll raise your conscious awareness and your consciousness and organise <laughs> organise with organite. I know it sounds like a cliche, but organise with organite. I, they, these things really do work and I'll show you a few pieces in a minute. Let me see what we're doing for time, okay? The main centres of control in the uh, in the in the uh, Illuminati triangle are, and they love using sacred geometry, by the way, against us. Uh, is London, the square mile of London, and the Illuminati Rothschild banking system, which equals money and debt. Italy, Rome, the Vatican equals religious control, and last but not least, America military and, and the police. This equates to the Illuminati all-seeing eye. You see that? Right there. That is the all-seeing eye. And I won't do it over one eye like the Illuminati do. I'll do it over two because I, it, it's uh, to say all-seeing, you know, you see through the illusion, the illusionary matrix. Now, a triangle has three points. Now the top the top of the point could be seen as the Illuminati Rothschild Zionist banking system that controls and funds and manipulates all the way down. And I mean all the way down because it's quite believe me, it's quite a pyramid. There are there are pyramids within pyramids here. Um, and everyone is uh, meant to hide the next level up, so it's like a paper trail. You can you, the whole thing needs dismantling, really. Uh, Italy, Rome, religious control. Uh, I think lots of you are aware that London has its own laws, its own um, police, its own courts, um, its own jurisdiction. It comes under the square mile of London, it has its own um, control mechanism, and so does Italy and the Vatican. They have their own laws and courts, um, and they're exempt from ordinary law. Now, these are the shadow, go shadow control governments, if you will. They are exempt from third dimensional law that we have to follow which is merchant law. It's not a real law. It's merchant law. It was used um, in the uh, birthing, for the birthing of um, ships. Uh, your birth certificate, that's all it is. When the ships used to come in and used to have to birth, um, they had certificates for that. And that's, it's what, your birth certificate is just another um, means of control if you like. Uh, you can look into that if you don't believe me. It's all on the esoteric agenda.